Welcome to King Says So, a channel that advocates for one Africa, one land, one Africa, one language, one Africa, one currency, one Africa, one army. I wish to witness Africans all around the world united as one in our lifetime. Enjoy. Black Heart, the hustle continua. 100% good quality t-shirts made to inspire you. Goals and dreams. T-shirts are now available at an affordable price. Place your order now. 068-473-6908 Instagram at Black7576 Facebook page Black Heart What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy King King 53 Mr. Easy Imali and Nengi Nengi and we're back at it again with another one and before I start I'd like to thank my two official sponsors Why Not Technologies, Why Not Technologies is all the way in, um, in Cape Town um, if you want anything that has to do with printing t-shirts, printing bags, caps, um, if you have a big order, whatever it is that you want to Im embroider, um, embroidering, printing and everything, contact Why Not Technologies and tell them that King sent you uh, there and they, I said they will give you a discount and you'll have a discount there. I promise you'll have a discount. I also want to shout out to my new sponsor, um black heart clothing they are also situated they are they are situated in in johannesburg so it to be exact and um, they are selling beautiful um a, a clothing range uh hats caps everything that you need hoodies t-shirts um contact them and tell them that king send you and they'll give you a discount also in fact some of you have already supported them from this from this channel and you have said listen i was watching uh, king said so on youtube and can you send me uh, can you send me uh, some t-shirts i appreciate it so much you know um sometimes we underestimate the level of impact that marketing can do so i'm very happy that my sponsors are happy so i'll continue pushing okay now let's go to um to mpumalanga kwa kuka kwa kuka emalasheni where we have a situation where uh, community members from the hostels decided they want to boycott uh, the IEC registration post uh, to say, listen, nobody's going to register here. We are going to fight because we are not happy. Ay, kanta bantu basi mpumalanga ntabanga ganjani. Kani in lezi ntoni zenza yo mpumalanga. Strive change South Africa la. We are really trying to change South Africa. Nye gufige la uzo uzo vimba banya bantu uh, encourage abantu kuti bona banga registari banga vote itoti anle asiyenzi le itoti le this is south africa i said many times before that we are privileged that we can vote literally 29 years ago we couldn't vote as africans so now just because you are not happy with uh, ubani the, the executive mayor of emalasheni what's her name Uleya Mabuza, I think it's Leya Mabuza, and the, the previous one passed away in a car crash with the husband. May her soul rest in peace. Um, Uleya Mabuza, if you are not happy with Leya, now you want to boycott the elections. No, you can't do that. And we are speaking about one word. You know, uh, let's just play quickly uh, um, a snippet from what one of the community leaders said. It's so disappointing, the reasoning capacity of our people so disappointing let's now take you to Gwakuka in Emalasheni where some residents managed to register before the station closed that's despite attempts by some community members who have been blocking people from entering the station in a show of anger over poor service delivery newsroom Africa Zola Sholana is tracking that story from us or rather for us Zola it does sound like a, a like a community that's uh, divided uh, take us through what's happened there so far and how significant was this standoff in preventing people from registering to vote Wow 
Well, that, that today was actually, you know, quite a, you know, um, hectic day this side of, uh, you know, South Africa because um, early on you'd understand that residents decided to conduct a sit-in and to basically decide that they're not going to go on the other side um, at the centre to register to vote as they have raised issues of service delivery saying that they feel like this hostel has been, this ward in particular, has been neglected by the municipality and they also allege that uh, yesterday they had a meeting with the mayor who promised them that, uh, um, you know, vote, voter registration will ne not take place until um, they actually sort out the issue of electricity. Uh, but uh, we saw the IEC uh, present today. We were told that yesterday uh, there wasn't much activity taking place as far as registration because no one was allowed. Um, hence, there's quite um, heavy police presence right now. Uh, they're also about to escort IEC members out of the, um, you know, the community. Uh, but uh, we, um, an hour, the past hour actually we've been seeing quite a number of people making their way there to register but uh, uh, the number is obviously less than a hundred. The majority um, hasn't gone there and obviously voting has been closed at this point and I'm joined by one of the community leaders and I just want, we just want to find out uh, what will it take for them to actually decide to um, exercise their democratic rights should they be given another chance to register, register to vote. Buti, thank you very much for your time. Um, obviously registration is closed right now. Today was the last day and um, the majority of residents here decided not to go register. What will it take for you to exercise your democratic right given an an another opportunity? Okay, thanks. I think it's, it's very much simple as our mandate is clear. So as long as our needs or our mandate is not being uh, actually made by the mayor. So obviously we cannot compromise our life that we are living in now because it's being long. So in terms of our rights, we all want to exercise our rights to register so that we can vote. But so far, our mandate is clear that no one on this area is willing to register and to vote till they are, uh, they are, they are, they are actually there. Uh, requirements that we have engaged with the municipality, uh, especially the mayor, are met. But till today, there's nothing that we can do actually. Well, what about the less um, the, the people that have gone to, to register? In the last hour, we've been seeing a number of people making their way. Who are those people? Are they still part of this community? No, they are not part of actually of this area. They are some of the people who are, who are staying at the location which they are actually residing at Clarnet. The only person going there to face them is the councillor, which is not willing to come and speak to us and speak to the media regarding the challenge that we are facing now. So that's why uh, we said in the morning we are not going to provoke anyone, the police or anyone from the outside, which is, is actually on our voters' role to come and confirm is, if he's still there on the ballot paper or not. But the, our guys here or the community at hostel, they didn't do anything today. They are still keeping their promises to say, as long as municipality, you are not uh, actually fulfilling our needs we're still going to say we are not going to vote, we are not going to register. But as long as you can give us what we want as agreed, we are willing to do so. You also mentioned that uh, when you had a meeting with the executive mayor, she mentioned that um, in the next, um, you gave her 30 days rather to fix, you know, issues in the area, especially the issue of electricity. And you even have a clip of her actually agreeing to that. Yes, yes. There is a clip of, of, of mayor of Emalacheng to promise that within the end of this month, everything will be fine. So, but now what frustrated us is this is not the first time because on the 14th of September, said the same thing to say, guys, just give me 30 days, I will fix this problem. This is nothing, because these are the basic needs of community. We gave her those days, but now enough is enough. So now he di she did also yesterday the same thing, but we will forgive her, we will give her that 30 days, but we cannot register. That, that, that's the mandate. So that 30 days, if it pass, and we said it also again to her, that if we can reach also the voting day, no one is going to vote on this area unless they do what we want. Now, speaking about not voting, don't you think that will prevent you from actually making a mark that could possibly change your future since you're not happy with the current situation in the area? No, 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 no. Because I think if the voting was the only reason that they can change uh, the, the situation here, they should have done it a long time ago. Meaning it's not a matter of voting or not voting. 
because we have voted many times. As long as this area tells you that they have, it has more than 30 years without electricity, then we can count how many local elections we, we have passed and how many national elections have passed. That can tell you that these people that doesn't take us seriously. So if this thing continuing like this to say, let's trust this election, let's trust the election, we are not going anywhere. The best way will just by a court the election till what we want is in place. Thank you very much. Yeah, the community leader is complaining about service delivery. You're complaining about service delivery and you don't want to change the, the local councillor. You don't want to impact the, the who is going to be the mayor. You don't vote, you don't have an opinion. You can't complain if you don't vote. You don't register to vote, your situation will stay the same. And as a person who was in, involved in many by-elections myself, I can tell you, there are some wards that are won by just 32 votes because the people of that ward decided they don't want to show up. There are some, you know, if, if this is the case and the attitude at, uh, at, uh, Guacuta, um, at Guacuta, um, you, uh, hostels, you will find that uh, ANC can just, you know, get 12 cadres and they will win that ward. And there will be a, a councillor from that ward with only 12 votes, with 12 votes, and the rest of you has absconded the, the, the voting, uh, in, uh, the elections, and now you have another councillor from the party that you, you, you want. You don't want, I mean. So it doesn't make sense, um, to say they've been struggling with, uh, electricity. And it's wrong for an, a, a mayor to say she can fix a problem of that has been there for years in 30 days. You know, the, the, the prop, a mayor coming to a community meeting and say, give me 30 days, I'll sort it out. That mayor does not know politics. She's, she, she's a cater deployment. She does not understand what is going on in terms of how to run a municipality. Completely wrong stance to do that. Um, some, some problems take years. To solve, and it is um, um, it is it is quite wrong for the mayor to do that. You know, I'm so disappointed uh, in in the mayor to have suggested that that she can solve the problem in 30 days, but also equally disappointed by our people who don't want to vote. It's simple. The, the people of the hostel can get a new political party, Action SA, EFF, um, DA, who, whatever. I don't know who they can get. Uh, uh, I'm sure there isn't any DA people there, but who stays in the hostel, but maybe there is, who knows. You can get any political party, you know, just really behind someone who say, listen, we are going to, uh, King, we are going to really behind you. You better bring back the services because it looks like there's a community hall where uh, the IEC uh, uh, chose that wall as one of their stations. That community wall was not cleaned for years. But just because the IEC was coming there, they cleaned that community wall. You see, it means that service delivery is not taken serious in that world. But it also means that let's select another political party. And let this, let this be a lesson to all of us um, who are not happy where we stay or whatever. You have no right, absolutely no right to say you, you're not going to vote. Busy going around in this democratic country going around and telling people not to register to vote. That's, that's rubbish. We can't do that. I'm very disappointed of my African people in Kwakuta, uh, Emalacheni district. I'm very, very, very disappointed. Equally disappointed with sis uh, Lea Mabuza. No, my sister. Give people a basic set. You know, South Africans have come to a point where they just want the basics. They don't know. They no longer want opportunities. They just want water and electricity and um, and um, municipal services. That's all. They will they will sort themselves out for other things. And you know when a party is failing to deliver that small, that the, the basic things, they don't deserve to be there anymore. The 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 people of Kwakuta they must really 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 elect another party. Elect another party, man. I saw an EFF guy passing with a barrel there at the back when the, the community leader was speaking. Elect, elect someone, man. Elect someone and disturb the system. You might not be in control of the whole, uh, uh, district, but at least be in control of your what? At least.
It's your boy King053, Mr. Easy Ima Learning Ningi. Thank you so much, guys. Leave your thoughts on the comment section. We have um we have uh, hit uh, 8,000 subscribers. I take my head off you guys who are subscribing and always giving me words of encouragement on the comment section. I really uh, guys, I'm really, really, really appreciative of of all your kind words on on the comment sessions keeps a, a person going really it's, it's not easy to be this consistent on youtube while you have other things that i'm not a full-time uh, content creator i've got a job a nine to five and i've got other businesses that i'm running and i'm a professional boxer and i and i always try to make sure before i sleep every time I, I i record something for you guys so thank you so much guys i appreciate it i'll keep on pushing i'm not complaining I'm not complaining i'll keep on pushing and next year is gonna be a very exciting year for us because of the elections we're gonna be going crazy of course some ideas you guys have emailed me some ideas some suggestions so next year we'll be going crazy until we meet next time don't forget to pray after you pray stand up and go do your best let's if we're gonna change it and say stand up and go and vote so that god can do the rest I salute you.